Um, Mayor, uh, what is your reaction to, uh, first of all, the updated policy on the use of facial coverings inside of county owned and leased buildings? Well, I think it's an unfortunate result of where we're at, both as a community, as a state, and as a nation. We see the levels of COVID-19 rising very quickly in, uh, in large urban communities, and it's just uh, a likely and very probably probable reaction to what's going on in, in our nation. Do you believe this is necessary? For sure. If, if we, if I didn't think it was necessary, I think if the board collectively didn't think it was important uh, to protect the public health and the county administrator wouldn't have executed the order. Uh, it, you know, it's something that no one's looking forward to, but it, it's a reasonable response to the skyrocketing rates of COVID-19. And it, it also tracks and follows the guidance from the Center for Disease Control. And uh, that, that's an important um, level of government and, and guidance on, on something like this when it comes to masks and preventing the spread of COVID-19. What do you want um, employees of Palm Beach County who work in these buildings and visitors who come into these buildings, what do you want them to know as to why you're doing this and why the county's doing this? We're doing it simply for the public health and safety. It, it should co come as no surprise that uh, wearing a mask, a mask helps uh, stop the transmission of COVID-19. I also look at it as a very minor intrusion in, into someone's ability to move freely about the building and conduct their business. It has to be done. And unfortunately, it, it's, uh, it's a direct result of where we're at. I mean, this, this pandemic has become uh, really a, a war against the unvaccinated. And I hate to put it that way, but that's really the primary group uh, that is getting infected and getting sick and really being impacted the most by COVID-19. Um, and we have to do what we have to do to protect the general health and public. Have you received, uh, I realize this is fresh and it's happening now, but have you received any pushback yet to this? Um, I, I, I don't know if I'm sure that I, that they've contacted my office. Uh, you know, that there's always um, some level of communication about what the government is doing and uh, what we're not doing. Really, it, it's not a function of public sympathy or public support or, or not, it's really just a, um, a very reasonable reaction to the, the spread of COVID-19 in our community. How serious is the county about uh, enforcing this? I noticed in the news release, it says that law enforcement are authorized to issue trespass warnings and remove people who are not in compliance with this policy. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple dynamic. It, the, the rules of the, of the county facilities are what they are. Uh, we do have a right and a responsibility to protect the public health. We've gone for a long time without requiring masks in the county building when, when the COVID transmission rate was low and the positivity rate was low. But unfortunately, we've returned to a point where we have to take these steps. It's not something that I enjoy doing, but it's something that must be done. Very good. Is there anything else um, you care to share with us? Uh, I would just want to say that I, you know, I, I think there's a lot of uh, personal reasons why people will choose not to get vaccinated. And I certainly respect and understand that perspective. I appreciate well-informed decisions, but I would also ask the community at large that has not been vaccinated to look at what has transpired both in the spread of COVID-19, but also how those of us that are vaccinated, how we responded to it, how we have remained healthy and protected from COVID-19 uh, on a large scale. And I think it's something that we should, you should continue to consider if it's something that you haven't done yet. And you support this 100%? This I certainly don't I, don't. I don't take any pleasure or joy in having to make uh, anyone's life more difficult. I don't enjoy wearing a mask. But again, this is a, a decision that is made in direct response to the prevalence of COVID-19 in our community. And really, the, the, the most pragmatic view is that these types of prophylactic measures will have to continue until we have reached that herd immunity uh, through vaccination. And that's just a practical reality of what America is going to look like um, as long as people continue to get very ill and sick from COVID-19, as long as it continues to mutate and manifest itself in different ways with the Delta variant and others. And I would just look to our hospital system and, and see how much they've been impacted by this. This is not something that is made up. It's not something that the you know government leaders enjoy having to impose these restrictions within our building, um, but it's a practical reality. Very good. Anything else uh, you got for us? No, sir. I really appreciate it. Could there be, or do you know of any uh, updated, any more policies that may be updated or anything that may be changed? 
Uh, really, we're, we're acting within the confines of what our authority is at this point. We know that Governor DeSantis has made, uh, you know, countywide or jurisdiction-wide general public mandates unlawful. I certainly understand uh, where he's coming from uh, on that, from that perspective. I know that there's been some more discussion about or there has been action on that in terms of prohibiting it in the school system. But as far as within the confines of our, of our own government buildings, it, it, from my perspective, it's clear that we can do this. I don't know that there's much more that we, that we can do, uh, but I would just ask for the community's patience and understanding as, as we continue to go through this pandemic. Very good. Thanks very much for your time. I appreciate it. Stay well, Mayor. You too. Thank you, sir. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Take